Hello cruising world, Mick the Suit Guy back with you again and today I'm going to talk to you about shore excursions on a carnival cruise. Specifically, do you have to go through carnival or can you go outside a carnival? Everybody's got their own opinions on this. That's all I'm ever going to do on these little videos here is try and give you what works for me. You may not like what I'm about to say. If you do, great. If you don't, it's still great. Life goes on. Personally, this is one of the few things I'm not a big fan of Carnival on, the way they try and pressure you into doing shore excursions through them, threatening that the ship will leave if you're not back on time, which is true, but, you know, as I'm about to explain, you're not going to be late by doing a tour outside of Carnival. You know, I mean, obviously you could, but I've never seen it happen. So, here's what we do, and you make your own mind up, because I know this is going to be a potentially controversial one. So. First off, let's talk about this price match guarantee that Carnival offers. They say they'll give you a 100% match on the difference and a plus 10% of the difference on that. Let me give you a quick example on how that could potentially work. So, we did this once. We found an uh, all-inclusive resort ashore. It was $75. Pretty much the same exact thing on Carnival was $100. So I'm like, oh, right, I'll go get my $25 back. Here's the catch. I could only get it if I booked it through Carnival, right? So if I'd already paid for that $75, it doesn't really matter. Now, if I find it and I've paid the $100 on Carnival, then I can fill out all this paperwork, they'll send it off for consideration, and if Carnival deem it to be exactly the same, exactly the same, they will give you that $25 difference back down the road sometime. And they'll give you 10% of the difference, which is $2.50. Or you could just book it directly and just go and pay the $75 instead of the 100 and uh, not get your $2.50 back. So I'm not a big fan of that 100% match guarantee. You've got to have the exact excursion description on there, you know? So just be careful with that. Um, here's another thing, like carnival excursions, if you've got 2,000 people on a carnival cruise ship, a vast majority of them are going to do the excursions through carnival. A carnival excursions are always, always overcrowded. They're packed. You know, the local tours, they're never that busy. I, I would say in the last 20 or so cruises we've done, we've done like 90% of our excursions have been non-carnival excursions. We go on TripAdvisor, we do our research, we check the reviews. If you look at the websites of a lot of these local tour companies, they're going to guarantee getting you back to the ship on time. They know the rules, they know what's at stake. So they'll have clauses on their terms where they will guarantee getting you back to the ship on time. When you book with them, they'll ask you. You can tell them what time your, your uh, ship leaves, what time it gets in, so you can make sure you can fit it all in. So go to TripAdvisor. Uh, sometimes there's some stuff on Cruise Critic, but we, we use TripAdvisor. It's been great for us. Check the terms, check the reviews, make sure you're comfortable, and, and out you can go on that. Uh, let me give you a few examples of excursions we've done where we found where it's cheaper. Um, when we go to Belize, we always do the butts up tubing. Not always, we've done the butts up tubing a couple of times. But when we go to Belize, we'll do the butts up cave tubing. If you do that through Carnival, uh, right now it's $65. If you do it through butts up, it's $35. And it's the same, it's the same cruise, uh, it's the same tour. So there's one you could get your money back on Carnival on a 100% guarantee if you wanted to, uh, because it's, it's the same thing. Well, no, there is a difference. On the carnival one, you have to pick up your tubes and carry them to the start. On the butts up, you walk to the start and the tubes are waiting for you. So it's different, right? And you get a lunch with it on both of them. So there's one where it's like, a, that's a pretty hefty difference in the price. Um, if you have a group of you, this is what we'll do. When we go to Grand Cayman, for example, uh, we normally have like a, a one time a year, we go on a Super Bowl cruise. We'll have anywhere between six and eight of us go. So we found this place you could rent a boat in the Grand Cayman for uh, 750 bucks. So if you have a family of you going and something like that, you can email me, my contact will be at the end of this. I'll give you the contact for this particular boat company. I think it was like $750 for five hours, including the captain. And they'll take you where you want. They'll take you to Stingray uh, Beach where you can get out and take your pictures with a Stingray. And they'll bring you in and you'll basically get a picture with six or seven of you around it instead of 50 to 100 carnival people. They'll take you to a private uh, snorkeling areas that carnival can't take you to. And if it's the same, they'll take you when there's nobody else there. You won't be packed with a lot of people. 
Uh, one of my, it's one of my big things about local tours is they are never as crowded and overcrowded as carnival tours are. Um, I found a, a, a trip on um, carnival where you could do the stingray uh, sandbar and the starfish point, which is a small little beach. You go up to it and you, uh, you can't touch them or bring them out of the water, but there's starfish there and you can bring them out and hold them and get cool pictures with it. We've done that. Uh, and that was $80 per person on carnival for a four hour trip versus your $750 on the, uh, on the ship. So it's gonna be a little bit more, you know, if you have eight people, you're looking at, you know, just over a hundred bucks a person, but you're going wherever you want to go for five hours, not four. Uh, so there's a lot of ways you can, you can not always save money, but save on how packed and how crowded these tours are. Uh, we did a food, tar in, uh, a food tour in San Juan, and I, I remember my wife and I, we went up to it, and uh, we were the only people on the tour. So we got a personal guided tour around San Juan and it was pretty much the same price as the, uh, as the carnival one, but there was two of us and we were talking to the tour guide on the way around and, and this makes a lot of sense. Um, the carnival one we went past, there was like 25 people on it, so they didn't get that personalized thing. But here was the thing, uh, on the carnival one, they've, the food company's got to pay carnival a cut, so they can't take them to the same restaurants. So you're gonna to go to better restaurants on a private food tour that that's, doesn't have a middleman, they gotta they got cut in, as it were. And so the food's better, and usually one or two more stops. And on the one we did, we got to learn how to make a mojito and drink the mojito and, and all that good stuff. So check the, the difference between the two tours. If your comfort level is to do it through Carnival because you are worried about the ship leaving, take the worry out, do it through Carnival, it's fine. You're gonna pay more, and you're gonna be in a much more crowded excursion, but you're gonna feel more comfortable that you know you're gonna get back, you know, so that's fine. And there are, you know, sometimes uh, Carnival blocks the local tour companies from coming close to the port. I know like in Amber Cove, if you're gonna do a local tour there, it's a decent walk off of the main port to get to where the tour buses pick you up. It's, it's a good 20 minute walk. So you wanna check that as well if you don't wanna deal with that. Um, so, you know, and a lot of people will get off the ship and just find something when they get off. You know, we, we go to uh, Catalina, a lot of people will go ashore and rent the golf carts. Uh, we go hiking, you know, there's a place you can go and check in and they'll, they'll show you the hikes to go around and stuff like that. Some people will get off the ship and just find a local taxi driver and they'll drive around the island for, for hardly anything. We do that uh, company called Roni's Tours when we go to Mahogany Bay and I think the other year we paid like $40 each for a four hour private taxi tour around the island. You know, so you, you can't beat that and it was just two of us. Took us wherever we wanted to go. So do your research, find out what works for you. If Carnival makes you more comfortable, go through Carnival. If you're a little bit less, um, I don't know what the word is, if you're a bit more daring, not really daring, but if you, if you prefer to save money and have less crowded tours, go with the other firms outside. Do your research on TripAdvisor. Um, email me. I'm gonna be putting up some videos soon of uh, tours I recommend in all the different ports that we've done. Again, the last, 25, 30 cruises we've done. We've done very, very few tours outside of Carnival and we've never come close to being back late and missing the boat. We do our research on that to make sure it's gonna end in plenty of time, just in case something happens. And uh, one more thing to let you know in case you didn't know about this, and I emailed Carnival just to confirm this, but if you do book a Carnival shore excursion in advance of the cruise, you cannot cancel it once you get on board unless you have special circumstances, you know, such you got really ill and you can prove that you were ill or something happens really bad, or you switch to another more expensive or equal cost excursion. You won't be able to just cancel it willy-nilly and, and change your mind when you get on board. So uh, there, there is that to look at as well. So, you know, as briefly as I can make it, there's my opinion on, on shore excursions on a Carnival cruise ship. Do what you're the most comfortable with. I know what we like to do. How's that, cruising world? Email me anytime, cruisingsuitguy at gmail.com. If you're looking to book a cruise, contact the best in the fleet, David Chirinos. He is awesome. Tell him I sent you. He'll take care of you and make sure your cruise is awesome.